Hey you guys, hey girl, hey, it is your girl Tosh and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would finally kind of branch out, do a little something different. A lot of you have been asking me for quite a while, um, you know, what is your everyday go-to makeup routine? And to be quite honest, I really don't have like any specific like go-to. A lot of times I'm that person that I cannot like, I can't. I can't skimp on the eyeshadow and I, I mean I'm sure a lot of you probably already knew that because I'm super obsessed with palettes and single eyeshadow just eyeshadows period so I'm gonna show you guys today basically what I would do um, for an everyday makeup look but including eyeshadow um, I am going to show you guys a little bit of the new C color a sundown palette as well as a new to me um, a liquid eyeshadow so you guys can kind of see what my base would look like on an everyday basis but there is a small kicker today's video is going to be including the um, iris and romeo best skin days five in one skincare dewy complexion that was sent to me i just want to give a shout out to iris and romeo hey girl hey thank you for sending your girl this new product and let's go ahead and get into it and see how these products perform guys so stepping into this this is the best skin days a five-in-one skincare dewy coverage broad spect broad spectrum with an SPF of 25 they did send mine over in the shade tan if you check out their website which of course will be linked down below you can check out the shade range now this is more of a sheer coverage product with those good for your skin properties in it I'm gonna read you guys a little bit of what is on the back here's the beautiful box that it comes in love it so it says a sheer coverage evens out skin tone and adds a beautiful radiant glow moisture attracting hyaluronic acid hey girl hey and elasticity building rose is it dementia i don't know how to say that word <laughs> so it says delivers a bouncy healthy looking skin with sun and blue light protection the directions say to use daily, alone, or on top of moisturizer. So I've already moisturized and prepped my face. Of course, cleansed it too, girl. Now I haven't primed yet, so I'll probably do that as well. It says reapply at least every two hours. The active ingredient is zinc oxide. See carton for complete ingredient information and drug facts and warnings. So this says the uses are it helps prevent sunburn for skin that burns easily. Provides moderate protection against uh, sunburn. And then basically, the side of the box says the Breakthrough 5-in-1 Hybrid evens out complexion and holds a beautiful dewy glow while also protecting against UVA and UVB blue light and pollution. Made with moisture-retaining hyaluronic acid and Bulgarian rose. Uh, says it's considered one of the most precious oils in the world and rich in oleic fatty acids and omega-9 antioxidants vitamin c and an unprecedented concentration of collagen boosting properties with skincare meets makeup it is a game changer that promotes skin wellness for a bouncier juicier skin instantly over time so girl i am all here for that i'm just gonna dip right in now their packaging is beautiful it's very very luxurious kind of and so you get a frosted glass this is very heavy it has some nice weight to it um you do get 50 grams which is 1.75 ounces in here and then it comes with like a matte white lid love their packaging so opening it up it does come with a seal on it and here is kind of what the product looks like now it does not look that pretty but i'm gonna go ahead and mix it up <laughs> Keep in mind that when I received mine, it was cold outside, um, so it's possible that this sat out for a little bit before I got to it. So it looks like it has a nice whipped texture, and I'm just going to pull some out of the bottle here. I'm going to try to make this work. I think I'm going to have to add a color adjuster to it, just because I'm not tan enough right now to use this. So this is what it looks like, and this is a big dollop, so I'm going to smooth some on my hand. Ooh, gosh. That feels nice and creamy so spread out on my hand here it is so i think this is going to provide a little more than a little bit of sheer coverage we're going to find out i'm going to take just a tiny bit and see if this will match me 
see on my face I think it's gonna match that's why they sent me tan I'm gonna mix just a very tiny bit of my physician's formula um, color drops in it because y'all know sometimes a girl just needs a little bit of something something so I'm going to add a little bit of my color adjusters to this just so I can make the shade work a little bit better because I am going into public. So when I come back, we are going to apply this to my face. All right, guys. So I have mixed them up on the back of my hand. Now, keep in mind, my arms are showing up a little bit lighter than what my face actually is on camera. So this is going to look a little bit darker. I do think it's about a shade and a half still too light for what I like, but we are gonna go ahead and get started. I have applied my face primer. I used the Laura Mercier foundation primer, and then I also went in with my Catrice One Minute Face Perfector. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna start off with a, a Shop Miss A pawpaw sponge. I'm just gonna dip right into the product. Now, because this is a skincare and a coverage in one, it's probably recommended that you apply this with your fingers. However, the box does not specifically state that so here we go I guess I could bring you guys in a little bit more <laughs> I'm still working on my coffee this morning okay so hopefully you guys could see that if you do decide to apply this with your fingers you are gonna get a little bit more coverage um, I've just been really into applying like these kinds of products with sponges to kind of help share the coverage out because when I'm going out during the day, you know, for stuff like taking an animal to the vet, I really am not trying to have, you know, full coverage, especially when I'm taking a goat because I'm going to get dirty and messy anyways. I just like to look a little put together, if you will. So I'm usually going for a more sheer coverage and just more natural-ish makeup, minus the eyeshadow, of course. Okay, so here's what one layer is looking like. Now, I do still see a lot of my scarring coming through, which is to be expected. Um, but I think I'm pretty happy with the coverage, like I said, just because we're just going to an appointment for two of the animals. And so I'm probably going to bronze up my ears and the rest of my neck. I didn't totally bring this down. <clears throat> Excuse me, my neck. I mean, I could just kind of take what's left over. As you can see, I didn't take it all the way down. I'm happy with the color. Bronzer can fix the rest. Not a big deal. Um, it feels very, 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 like, invisible on my face. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. Um, it's not emphasizing any of my dry texture on my face, which I am loving because my nose is really, really dry and flaky right now. Looks good. Even on my chin where I tend to have, like, I don't know, it kind of bunches up sometimes like different products do on my chin all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and get into some concealer when I come back from the concealer we are in well my concealer and bronzer and stuff we're gonna get into this liquid blush cream blush it's called bohemian treasure and this is from Ulta Beauty all right you guys so there is no information on this this just says bohemian I think I lost the box already oh here we go <laughs> so it's in a bohemian treasure so it's a lightweight formula that blends effortlessly for a perfect flush of color buildable and natural looking and then it says apply with finger brush or blending sponge directly to the areas of the face you want the color and then blend for more coverage repeat until it's necessary desired coverage so i'm just going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then just kind of go in from there it has been a minute since I've used a cream blush in a tube like this. Now, I do have some other ones that are in like a cream form, like a solid cream form. So here, oops, sorry. <laughs> so here's what it looks like, kind of semi-blended out. We're going to go in with a tiny, tiny dot. And I'm just going to go in with my finger and then a sponge. Whooshy pigmented. 
And if this is too much for you right here, I mean, it's obviously too much, but <laughs> um, you can just take your side right here or the other side and just kind of start blending it all together. It's showing up a lot more pigmented on camera for some reason, but yeah, it's super pretty right up my alley. Now right here, I can see some more of my discoloration coming through. Guys, I haven't powdered my face yet. And also, um, I lost some of my coverage when I was blending out the cream contour stick that I used. I didn't show it because it's not a new product. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and powder my face. I still have a ton of blush right here, but we don't need it. So to powder my face, you guys have already seen me use the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow. Woo, y'all. I love this powder. It's so beautiful. Just using one of these um, Moda brushes that they set over. These are so cute. They are really good brushes as well. I love this Laura Mercier powder. You do not need a lot of it at all. And it just gives you the most beautiful dewy look to your skin without being overly like crazy you guys are gonna hear the babies um they don't like it when their mama and daddy leave them and i'm in here filming nick is outside taking care of the other animals so they're having a cow <laughs> Honestly, guys, if I was in a real hurry, I would just throw on some mascara and some lip gloss and go like this, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. When I come back, we're going to go through the eyeshadow portion and we'll be done. All right, you guys, so really quickly, we are going to jump into the Sundown palette. This is an 18 color eyeshadow palette. It's called the Rosette. Sundown Rosette palette from C Color. So... I don't see anything in here where it says that there are pressed pigments in this palette. So I think that these are all shadows. Let me take this cover off so it doesn't blind you guys. Now one of my shades did come damaged, not a super big deal. But when I looked at this palette, I really instantly thought of one of the Huda Beauty palettes. Um, Desert Dusk is kind of what I get from this. Um, I don't have a ton of time to get into it today. I obviously am going to, this is gonna be a first impression and I will use this palette again. But I'm just gonna show you guys some of the shades. That one is really pretty. Oh yeah. Oops, sorry guys, you probably just saw my mess on my table. <laughs> uh, so there's that guy. We have, yeah, I think this is a Desert Dusk dupe. I'm trying to get you guys another swatch here. They feel nice and creamy. Um, they really do. So this wasn't a shadow, the middle one, my bad. Um, but here and here, I don't know. We're going to try to get a natural-ish look. What I'm going to do is use some of the lighter matte shades just for, um, you know, transition um, to kind of give me some definition in my crease, we're going to go in with a liquid eyeshadow by Koki anyways. Well, hello. <laughs> Starting off, you guys, I am just going to take this brush by Almar Cosmetics, and I am going to go into this shade here, as well as mm, this little shade down here. I don't want anything too crazy. Actually, I might even take my bronzer after I do this peach-ish shade. And we have pigment right off the bat. That's what I like to see. Little powdery, not a huge deal for me though. Bubba's gonna scratch up the door because he didn't want to come in earlier. <laughs> he didn't want to cooperate with his mama. All right, you guys, I'm just going to take a smaller brush now, and I'm going to go into, uh, you know what, I'm going to go into this shade right here, this darker kind of shade. It's showing up a little bit lighter on camera. I don't know why the joys of videography. 
<laughs> so I'm just going to take that right into my deep crease. Need a little bit definition and then outer corner. Woo-wee, y'all, that hooded eye life, though. <laughs> I'm going to blend out this peachy shade a little bit more. Um, wasn't expecting it to be that crazy. I do want to show you guys, I'm getting a lot of fallout with this one. Which, again, for me, you guys, as long as it's pigmented, it's not a huge deal breaker for me. Um, and it's pretty pigmented so far. Don't see a super ton of fallout on my face, though. So that's good. I kind of feel bad because I noticed that lately I'm super into, um, you know, more... I don't know what I need this brush. Sorry, guys. I've been more into like these kind of shades, berry shades. I'm going to take this uh, vanilla-ish kind of shade in here. And I feel like I've been doing all the same looks. But you guys have been super awesome about them. Like nobody's complained or anything. So that's cool. You guys have really been seeming to enjoy them. So thank you guys very much. So I know all of this looks harsh right now. I am going to blend it all out. Just kind of get my color placement, and I do this a lot like this when I'm in a super hurry. Just so that, you know, I do get to do my makeup. So I'm going to actually save this brush, I think, and pull another one for the um, liquid shadow. And we're almost done, you guys. Usually if I have to get ready in a very, 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 very big hurry, I can do my makeup in a good 20 minutes and look put together. And I just... I just think that it really does something, you know, when you look good, you, or you feel, or yeah, mm -hmm. when you look good, you feel good, and I think that it's worth it if you have the extra, you know, 15, 20 minutes to do a little something for yourself. And if it gets too crazy up here for you, and you know, you're not comfortable with all of this, go in with that vanilla shade, and you can just kind of blend some, and it'll really kind of take that color down so it's not so you know, loud. I got excited by the pigment and I went a little too loud. <laughs> Wasn't really wanting it that loud, but that's okay. All right guys, so for my lid shade, I'm going in with the Koki Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow in the sh -sh 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 shade Starlight. So if you have not seen the um, Koki Liquid Shadows, this is what they are in comparison to the e.l.f. shadows. The e.l.f. ones are so cute and tiny. But these ones are about the size of the regular size Stila. So here's what their wands look like. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a one, well, two swipe. That's what that one looks like. It's really pretty. Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the under eyes, use the exact two same colors that I used in this palette, and I'm just going to use this little pencil brush from Profusion, this is their small pointed eyeshadow, this is the ES6, and I love that point on there for doing the under eyes. Apologize, these do not have um, names for me to give you. These Koki eyeshadows are really, really like thin in consistency and so comfortable. Like, they're so comfortable on the um, eyelids. They're not chunky. They don't feel dry like a lot of, like a lot of liquid eyeshadows. I told you guys this was not going to be natural eyeshadow. <laughs> I can do like completely natural other like face makeup and stuff, but... I love playing with my eyeshadow, regardless of what kind of base makeup I have on. Now don't get me wrong, God, I don't like my concealer today, I feel like my eyes still look super dry underneath, I'm not getting a ton of sleep lately. I think I'm going to try to brighten those up with a little bit of banana powder. 
just gonna use a little bit of my Wet n Wild Dolce de Leche because my under eyes, y'all, whoa. You can tell I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. A little bit better. I'm loving this powder. It's a little bit better. All right, you guys, so when I come back, you're gonna see me apply the Iris and Romeo Power Peptide Lip Balm, and we're gonna wrap up this look. I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about the new products that I used, and I'm gonna find out what you guys think in the comments down below. All right, you guys, so besides my lips and setting spray, of course, maybe a little bit of highlighter. Um, we are done with everything except for my lips. So this is their peptide lip balm and it says the rich buttery lip balm is also plumping and hydrating is also a plumping and hydrating treatment with buildable color made with collagen boosting biomimetic peptides that help increase a lip volume and firmness while deeply hydrating. Our exclusive rose wax is blended with nutritious oils and moisturizing butters including Bulgarian Rosa, Rosa Centifolia Shea Butter, Rose Hip Oil, and Camilla Oil. So you can apply this as much as you want throughout the day. Um, these actually come, ooh, you guys, look how creamy. Girl, stop it. Um, anyway, you can purchase these in several different shades. It doesn't really smell like anything, which is a great thing because a lot of people don't like, you know, scents in their cosmetics, even their lip products. So it feels really nice on the lips. See, it just gives a sheer wash of color. I could see how this could be plumping. Um, you know, so far I'm not feeling that stinging sensation which I don't mind I quite like <laughs> um, but it feels like this could be you know really hydrating to the lips over time and even kind of you know start to diminish the lines like that's how luxurious it feels on my lips if that makes sense like I'm not saying it it, it said that because I mean, it didn't but it just feels that nice on the lips I might have to see if they have a uh, clear version of this you know to kind of use as a lip mask because this feels so good like this feels like a luxury lip product this actually feels better than my Laneige lip sleeping mask and I love this you guys I'm still working on my mini by the way <laughs> but it feels really good it's not sticky I think it gives the perfect wash of nude color to the lips um, I think this would look super pretty paired with a lip liner and yeah so this is my final look, guys. I still have to spritz my face with a little bit of set and spray. And if you are curious of what I used on the rest of my face, guys, I am going to cut this video short because it's time to get ready to take the babies. Definitely check out the description box below. I am going to go ahead and give this palette so far my seal of approval as you guys say it's Tasha approved <laughs> again this is the C color sundown palette now I only used two shades in here and I will say that while I love C color this has got to be the most powdery palette that I've tried thus far um, I'm going to leave it down in the description box one of these palettes of the two newest ones, the um, Sundown and the Nightfall, are one of them is a remake of one of their previous dupe palettes that they made, which was a dupe for the Huda Beauty Dust or Desert Dust palette. So I'm thinking it might be this one. Um, now I'm kind of curious of what the other formula was like because this is just to me so far not as good as their other palettes, but it does have pigment. It's very messy though, um, which you guys know I don't usually mind. But so far, I mean, I think I need to play with it some more because I don't want to say that it's a bad palette yet. I didn't even use the shimmers, but there were a few in there that I touched that I was kind of like, nah. we'll see what happens. Definitely check out the description box so that you know uh, my final thoughts on this. And then as I told you guys, I am loving the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder. Um, I've used it before in a video, so... <laughs> 
Um, so far, so good. I'm going to leave down in the description box how the Koki Fusions, Crystal Fusions, liquid eyeshadow wore for me throughout the day. Because that is the real test. So far, it's pigmented. It's lightweight. I don't feel like it's super settling. Sorry, guys. I felt like I had something in my teeth. <laughs> um, I don't feel like it's really super settling in my lines on my eyes. So far, I'm loving it. Um, and then the Ulta Cream Blush in Bohemian Treasure. Loving it. Um, I know I'm not going to use up this whole tube even if I use this every single day. Like, there is a ton of product in here. And these are super pigmented. You only need the tiniest bit as you guys saw. Alright you guys, so that is a wrap for today's video. Let me know how you do your everyday makeup. Do you wear the bare minimum with your base? Um, do you do a full face? Do you go on full glam? Um, that is one of the things that I like, um, really quickly before I end this video is that you can take like a really light base and play up your eyes and it almost can give the illusion to some people that you have more flawless skin. You know what I mean? Draw the attention to your eyes. That's usually what I like to do. Um, and it, you know, just because I love eyeshadow so much, that is one of the things I do not like to skimp on, even when I do my everyday makeup. So let me know what you guys think. I want to hear what your everyday makeup root regimen is, and I will see you guys later. Bye! And have an amazing day, wherever you are.